There are 15 people in this house and you are the only one that has to make trouble. I'm the only one getting picked on. You're the only one acting up. Now get upstairs. I am upstairs, dummy. The third floor. Go. It's scary up there. Don't be silly. Fuller will be up there in a little while. You know Fuller. He wets the bed. He'll pee all over me. I know it. Fine, we'll put him somewhere else. I'm sorry. It's too late. Get upstairs. Ugh. Everyone in this family hates me. Then maybe star signs for a new family. I don't want a new family. I don't want any family at all. Family sucks. Just stay up there and I don't want to see you again for the rest of the night. I don't want to see you again for the rest of my whole life. I hope you don't mean that. You're pretty sad if you woke up tomorrow morning and had no family. No, I wouldn't. Then say it again. Maybe it'll happen. I hope everyone in my family would just disappear. I don't want to see any of you guys ever. Where are they? I don't know. She said eight sharp. Peter! We, we slept in! <laughs> I'm Mitch Murphy. I live across the street. You guys going outside of town? I'm going to Orlando, Florida. Well, first we're going to Missouri to pick up my grandma. You know the McCasters are going to France? Do you know if it's cold there? Do these vans get good mileage? Gee, kid, I don't know. Hit the road. Heather, make sure everyone's in the vans. Where are the passports and tickets? Oh, I put them in the microwave to dry off. <gasps> How fast does this thing go? Does it have automatic transmission? Does it have four-wheel drive? Look, kid, I've told you before, don't bother us and get lost. Come on, guys, hurry up! Go get the van! And shut up! I need a head count. One, two, three... Buzz, don't be a moron. Four, five. Come on, let's get the van. Have a nice time in France. Bring me something French. There's no way we'll make this plane. It leaves in 45 minutes. Think positive, Frank. If you be positive, I'll be realistic. Heather, did you count heads? Nine, including me. One boy, two girls, two drivers, three parents, and a partridge in a pear tree. Can we go yet? Yes! yes! Hold the plane! Did we miss the flight? No, you just made it. Single seats only in coach. Take whatever's free. Kids are in coach, we're in first class. Seats for ABC. For A, B and C, I'll take your coats. Seat belts, please. Champagne, please, it is free, isn't it? Oh, yes. <sighs> we made it. Do you believe it? I hope we didn't forget anything. Mom? Dad? Don't you feel bad flying first class with all the kids back in coach? No, the kids are fine. <laughs> the only flying I ever did as a kid was in the family station wagon, and it wasn't to France. We used to have to go to Aunt Laura and Uncle Arthur's house. Kids are fine, they're having the time of their lives. I hate you! <laughs> Mom? Dad? Uncle Frank? Uncle Frank? Is this a joke? Megan? Lily? I've made my whole family disappear. Peter! <gasps> Kevin!
Christmas Eve many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. I did not rustle the sheets. I breathed slowly and silently. I was listening for a sound, a sound a friend had told me I'd never hear. The ring bells of Santa sleigh. There is no Santa, my friend had insisted, but I knew he was wrong. Late that night, I did hear a sound, though not of ringing bells. All aboard! All aboard! You, coming? Where? Back to the North Pole, of course. Th this is the Polar Express. Th the North Pole? Is this you? Yeah. Well, it says here, no photo with Santa. Send a letter to Santa and he made your sister put out all the milk and cookies. Sounds to me like this is your crucial year. If I were you, I would think about getting a... On. Now, come on, come on, I got a schedule to keep. All aboard! There were other children on the train, all in their pyjamas and nightgowns. Outside, the lights of towns and villages flickered in the distance as a Polar Express raced northward. Hey. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Do you know what kind of train this is? Huh? Train. Do you know what kind of train this is? Of, of course. It's a magic train. <gasps> We're going to the North Pole. Oh. I knew it was a magic train. It's a Baldwin 284, um, built at the Baldwin Locomotive Works in 1933. It weighs 456,000 pounds and it has a... Are we really going to the North Pole? Yes. Yes. yes! Soon there were no more lights to be seen. We climbed mountains so high it seemed as if we'd scraped the moon. But the Polar Express never slowed down. Faster and faster we ran along, rolling over peaks and through valleys like a car on a roller coaster. Woo! Woo! Tickets, tickets, please. Tickets, tickets, please. Thank you. Try your pocket. Try your other pocket. Thank you. How's the hot chocolate doing? Ready? Attention, any Polar Express passengers in need of refreshment? Me! 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 Where are you going with that? It's for him. It's a violation of safety regulations for a child to move crossing cars without adult supervision. I think I'll be okay. Mountains turned into hills, hills into snow-covered plains. We crossed a barren desert of ice, the great polar ice cap. Wow. Lights appear in the distance. They look like the lights of a strange ocean liner sailing on a frozen sea. All right, everybody. If you look over there, there is North Pole. <gasps> Where's the North Pole? North Pole.
Train sets? Check. Bicycles? Check. Doll's house? Check. Grandpa slippers? Check. Moldy pot noodle? Check. What? Okay, I think we can finally say we're ready to rock and roll. Yes. As soon as Mrs. Claus comes back, we'll tell her to get Father Christmas. We're ready to go. Oh, Sparky, you're going to the sleigh. Take this present. It's ready and wrapped. Okay. Sparky, oh, can you take this one as well? All right. Oh, Sparky, you have this one. Okay. Sparky, take this one as well.
It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the five and ten It's glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes that glow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys in every store But the prettiest sight to see Is the holly that will be On your own front door Come on, everybody. Slip 
of a boat. There's a tiny red boat. The seed of a war in the creek of a floorboard. A storm can begin with a flap of a wing. The tiniest mind packs the mightiest sting every day. Start with the tick of a clock, all escapes. Stuck with a click of a lock. If you're stuck in your story and want to get out, you don't have to cry, you don't have to shout. Cause if you at all you could do a lot, you must let it all think like little stop you. If you sit around, let them get on top you. It won't change a thing. Just because you find that life's not fair, it doesn't mean that you just have to breathe. be saying you think that it's okay and that's not right and it fits not right you have to put it right but nobody else is gonna put it right for me nobody but me is gonna change my story sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty Broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round. When you can't find the fight out, but I see it in you, so we're gonna walk it out.
Santa. Are you real? If you live at the North Pole, then how come I can't see your house when I look on Google Earth? Are you St Nicholas? Because you'd be incredibly old. And how do you get all the time to read all the letters from all the children in the world? That must take absolutely ages. And how many cookies of mince pies have you eaten in all of history? How do you feel the presence in the sack? Does your sack have to get bigger every year because of exponential population growth? And how do you get down the chimney? I put my head in ours and it's really small. And even if you could get down it in one minute, there are nine houses on my road, so that's nearly 10 minutes. And there are millions of roads in the world. <laughs> it must be so hard being Santa these days. I mean, what if I'm staying at grandma's? And how on earth do you get around the entire world in just one night? My friend said that you'd have to go so fast it would make you and the sleigh and all of the rangers just burn up. Dear Santa, I think you're real, but how do you do it? For Christmas, I would love a pink twinkle bike with stabilisers. Please don't bring my present if it makes you and the reindeer bad. Love, love from Sharon, Schnizzleton, Gwen, Bertha, Rai Rai, Hannah, Lily, Jessica, Melissa. Dear Gwen, thank you for your letter and brilliant picture. Your request for a pink twinkle bike will be passed on to Santa. And yes, do believe in Santa. He is real. He's the greatest man ever and can get around the whole world without a single reindeer being roasted alive. Hurt. By the, sun, by the time the sun comes up on Christmas Day, he'll get to you too, using his special magic from Arthur. Governments tonight are waking to sightings of a UFO travelling the globe at incredible speeds. The first sighting was here at a truck stop in Indiana. It had eyeballs on its feet and a little pointy head. Ask me for a sign! Mummy, mummy, I'm on TV! Come on, let's go! Come on! From the trail in Toronto, these beings do not appear friendly. This is Charlotte Millings, NBC News. This is Jose Gonzalez, live in Mexico. Police are reporting strange droppings on people's houses. We are live here in Hawaii, reporting a steam train. This thing's going faster than anything we know of. Reporting live, sightings of an unidentified aircraft have been spotted in Mozambique's airspace, threatening the fragile peace between the two nations. They're coming! Sir, I know we shouldn't believe rumours, but we do. Is it true you missed a child? <gasps> what? Me? <laughs> no, no, no. <sighs> well, in a way, yes. <gasps> it wasn't even one. It was like 0 0.0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
Snow is falling all around me. Children playing, having fun. Tis the season of love and understanding. Merry Christmas, everyone. Snow is falling all around me. Children playing, having fun. Tis the season. Of love and understanding. Merry Christmas, everyone. We're gonna have a party tonight. I'm gonna find that girl underneath the mistletoe. We'll kiss by the candlelight. Snow is falling all around me. Children playing, having fun. Love and understanding. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. Presents and cards are here. My heart is filled with cheer. And you, you. This Christmas, and as I look around, your eyes are shining. Blazing bright with Carolyn through the night. But I know if I'm feeling lonely, can't be the only one drowning in my tears. So somebody show me how am I supposed to have fun at the loneliest time of year. Christmas, there is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own, more than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. All I want. For Christmas is you. All I want for Christmas is you, baby. All I want for Christmas is you, baby. All I want for Christmas is you, baby. I'm 
cut me down. I'm gonna send a flood, gonna drown a mind. I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be. This is me. Look out, cause here I come. And I'm marching on to the beat I drum. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. This is me.